Wells, a Jackson County community, is trying to figure out what to do with the old Paint Rock Valley School building. It's just been sitting empty since the school shut down nearly one year ago. But community members and the county commission are trying to give the building a second chance. Way 31's Sarah Singletary talked to people who live in the area about what they would like to see. It would be great for a private school. Billy Cagle lives and works across the street from the old Paint Rock Valley School Building. Cagle graduated from the school in the 1950s and loves his community, but knows another school is a long shot. I just don't see it feasible to bust the kids in from other places. They'd have to bring their own students in because there's really no places to buy or rent up here. According to Chairman Tim Guffey, the Jackson County Commission will select a five-person board that will decide the building fails and how to pay for it. Loretta Harris thinks they've got their work cut out for them. It would take a lot of effort and a lot of money for anybody to be able to come in and keep it going and keep it in the shape that it was in. Harris and her sisters all graduated from Paint Rock Valley School. It's also where she worked and retired from. She wants to remember her alma mater for what it was. It's a large school and it's so nice and everything was the last time I walked out of it is perfect. Since the building is owned by the Jackson County Board of Education, they'll be the ones to approve or deny any future plans. It's going to have to be creative for sure. The next step to determine the fate of the old school building happens right here at the Jackson County Courthouse on Monday. That's when the county commission is going to sit down and discuss the applications to be on this new board. In Jackson County, Sarah Singletary, Y31 News. All right, thank you, Sarah. The county commission will vote on board members the Monday after their discussion, which is the 25th. And once there is a plan in place, the school board superintendent, Kevin Dukes, told Way 31 that no more tax dollars will go toward building upkeep.